A lot of big signings up here. Look at this. Roma completes Sergio Asensio signing. I believe. Yeah, oh, here's another one. FC Bayern target Besiktas is Quaresma. How soon does someone targets Jeff Millennial? Comment below. Let us know. Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back. The Millennial Man Cave, the Jeff guy, the FIFA 19 guy, Jeff Millennial. And when's someone going to start kicking tires on this guy? We're fit. We have five goals and six assists in 12 matches. We're in excellent form. And we're 20 years old. Seems like somebody that people want to go after. But guys, in the last episode, you saw Jeff just took off. And I don't expect this episode to be any different, but I guess only time will tell. So here you go. We're going to go into the game against Orlando. And there's our lineup. Bono, Mavinga, Zavaleta, Moore, Bradley, Chapman, Delgado, Jeff, Jansen, Hamilton, and Altador. So Sebastian, Javinko, obviously not in the lineup. And this is actually a conversation piece for this episode, guys. I mean, we just finished talking about how we were seeing potentially a big change and the dynamic of this Toronto FC team. And I was actually having some discussions with a couple of uh, couple of the boys, you know, uh, Horseshoe Nick and uh, and Andy, who you have guys haven't met yet. But uh, essentially the discussion was, you know, where is this Toronto FC team going? So news has broken now that Sebastian Jovinko has, uh, has applied for a visa to go play in Saudi Arabia. Now, obviously we know Saudi Arabia, there's a ton of money out in that neck of the woods, on that side of the world. So, apparently, Javinko wants a long-term contract from Toronto FC. He wants to stay in Toronto and uh, potentially retire here and open up his own football academy. Now, for the sake of Toronto and Canadian soccer, I'm incredibly excited for that to happen. But right now, because we've seen so much craziness, oh, that should have been buried, Altador. Jeff Millennial finding a perfect pass that doesn't get finished. And here we are again, taking on former Toronto FC keeper, Joe Bendick. Uh, but kind of back to our discussion, guys. So, you know, having Sebastian Javinko stay here and just up the class of the Canadian football, so, like, you know, football, and uh, as well as TFC Academy would just be smart. But it seems like right now the belief and the change with our GM, we talked about Tim Betspachenko leaving and uh, the new uh, guy who just came in, who I believe was from the Columbus crew or the Red Bulls or something along those lines. Um, you know, he believes in building from within. And what that means is you're going to have to drop the big ticket guys. And unfortunately, right now, that's led to, you know, Sebastian Javinko potentially being gone. We talked about Victor Vasquez leaving the team. And, uh, you know, Josie Altidore, who knows if he's going to be staying. I mean, they might try and keep Josie for one more season, especially if they're losing so many pieces at one time. And, uh, you know, the big other factor that we're missing here. And Jeff, oh, what a save by Bendik. And that's in the back of the net. Toronto FC strikes. The man we just spoke about, Victor Vasquez. No, it's not Vasquez. That's Hamilton. Hamilton puts it in. A guy who's also not on TFC right now because they released him and he's coming back to try out again. Unfortunate for this guy. He's come up and has not been able to, to cut it. But a uh, great player from TFC in an early goal. Just a quick turnaround shot. But uh, Toronto FC also, guys, losing, losing Gregory Vanderweel. Now, it's not that Vanderweel played fantastic for TFC last year. Obviously, we had a lot of injuries. Uh, you know, one big thing also, you know, Mavinga. Mavinga being lost and drew more last year. They only played three games together the entire season. And to be honest, they are the strong points of the TFC defense. So the fact that those guys were gone really did hurt us in a big way. So, you know, if they're back healthy... Um, you know, we're also going to see Alro probably healthy again this year. He was a big piece for us. And, uh, you know, we'll be losing a couple guys, right? And they also traded Nick Haglin away, a uh, longtime center back. And, you know, guy who's played defense for us for a long time, uh, also heading his way out. So big, big turnover for Toronto FC. So I question to you guys, if you watch MLS, if you follow soccer, is Toronto FC really in trouble now? Like, I think this team now is going to go through a full-length rebuild to the sake that they might be bad again for a long time. And if I'm a season ticket holder, and uh, our buddy Andy is, 
you got to be a little worried, man. Are those tickets worth admission anymore? Because, I mean, for what we're about to see turn over, I feel like we're going to see the Toronto FC over the past 10 years. That really didn't do much. And it's all kind of depending to see how the rest of the straws fall here for Altidore, how soon Jovinko potentially gets kind of traded away here. So we shall wait and see, guys. But nonetheless, it is some big, big news going to be affecting TFC here. Oh, Jeff tries to get across that one. Couldn't get there. That's a big shot. That stopped by Bendik. I got guys playing freaking, oh my gosh. Why am I getting penalized for a guy stepping in front of me and taking me out of position? That is not my fault. That's called a pick. And this is not basketball, but a great little play here. Trying to get that one back in. Jeff Mollett, oh, big stop by Joe Bendick. That is a point-blank save for the former Toronto FC keeper. And talking about TFC keepers, guys, another big one that we're going to have to watch out for is how long is Alex Bono going to be with this team? Um, you know, to my understanding, Clint Irwin is now gone. And he's been uh, the backup keeper here. And, oh, Oh my god, Jeff should have had another one. The quick turnaround shot. Uh, oh, too much curve. Just curves away from the far post there. But, uh, you know, Alex Bono has been really garnering a lot of interest from some big European clubs. Um, and, you know, obviously going to Europe will just help his development. Playing in MLS will do him okay. But uh, to potentially be the number one goalie for the U.S., him moving out will just help him. So that's another piece that's potentially moving. And again, just continuing to to hamper this TFC roster moving forward. And, uh, you know, if you're going to build a within, it requires you to have some great prospects. And it feels like a lot of the TFC ones have not panned out. I mean, uh, Endo was a guy that me and my buddies were talking about that, you know, TFC drafted. They gave a lot of potential to. And, you know, they said he was going to be a great, great player for us. And, I mean, he was with TFC Academy last year. So, obviously, when those kind of things don't pan out, it becomes trouble. And uh, I, I, I'm fortunate as a TFC fan to be you know, kind of scared from what's to come. But on the flip side, we were very fortunate to see them win it all in one season and, uh, you know, kind of bring some pride back to Toronto because no Toronto sports have been doing crap all for us for quite some time now. So, you know, we'll take it as it is. Josie cannot finish any of my passes this game. But uh, we're pushing here, man. Seven shots. I should have had a couple, so I guess I can't complain or chirp them. But uh, I'm waiting for Jeffy to really step up. So again, guys, I'm opening up the floor to you. You comment below. You let Chef Tom and I know. You let us know what your thoughts here about how this team's going to look, man. Like, what are the expectations? Tell me about your MLS team. If you guys are a fan, let me know about your team. What are your thoughts about their moves this offseason? I mean, we're always good and open for a discussion, guys. And we'd love to see those comments when you guys open the floor up. Evo, I know, is always going to open up some stuff for us. I know he knows his football. And that's always a good time. So, what is TFC going to be down to this year, man? What a sad, sad day to have this conversation. Like... The, the actual discussion, oh yeah, that's in the back of the net. What a goal here for TFC. Altidore finally buries one. That is two. And too bad we don't look this good in real life. But, uh, you know, one comparison I had for, you know, the guys I was talking to this past weekend was Toronto FC right now is in the place that the Blue Jays were in. A couple years ago with Donaldson, with Tulowitzki, when they made the playoffs two years in a row, finally got back into it, obviously made some good pushes, but we're never able to make it to the show. The only difference here with TFC in their couple runs, they obviously won the championships one of those times and made the finals in the other. So, you know, it kind of seems like the window was extremely short. And unfortunately, it's not good for business to play that way, guys. I mean, you're constantly paying to the nose. And that's what's really leading this charge right now for our team is that MLSC is losing money on TFC. I mean, essentially what they've done the past two or three seasons was just to bring some pride back and try and build a brand here. And I mean, obviously they have, but not enough to kind of sustain those kind of losses. And luckily for them, the Raptors and the Leafs are constantly making the money. So, um, you know, they were able to mitigate those losses, but, you know, it comes down to it. They can't, I guess, and won't be doing it any longer. Oh, half a step behind that one. There is a strike there from, I believe, Delgado or Jansen. And that one's going to get out for a corner here. So we're up to 7.8, guys. I pretty much have talked through this first whole first half. And it's just been a lot of excitement because of, you know, what TFC's had to offer here. That was supposed to be a fake shot. I didn't like how that didn't fake and just shot. Otherwise, I would have loved to have a go there. But first half is over here, guys, in Orlando. And your boys are up 2-0. You've misplaced too many passes this season. I really feel like I've been opening up a lot. 
So I'm not truly understanding that, but sure. We got goals from our two strikers today, Hamilton and Altidore. Altidore probably could have had a hat trick if he buried both of mine. That were both just wide open for the most part. Couldn't have done anything more for him. But right now, we're going to take these looks here. Playing that one out for Bradley, I take the foul. Altidore puts that out to the side, and that does absolutely nothing for building up a play. Now, here comes the counterattack from Orlando. A lot of white jerseys coming back, though. Good job, boys. TFC trying to stagger this offense. Opening it up there. Jeff Maletti opens that up for the wing. That's going to get out here. Bradley trying to touch and go here. Nice play. Nice read. Bradley's opening it up. Jeff's looking for Altidore one more time. Is he going to bury it this time? Oh, he put it in. Josie Altidore. Oh, that's a delayed reaction on my part. But I, to be honest, guys, I thought that hit the outside of the net. But Josie puts one in finally after the pass from Jeff Millennial. So he could have a, a hat trick just off my passes. But I'll take that one. That's a nice assist for Jeff. 50th minute, 3-0 lead here. I mean, we definitely outclassed this league, right? I mean, we're not even having Seba play. Bendik doesn't even move. And we've got ourselves on a good team here at MLS to build Jeff Millennial up. So let's keep pushing here, guys. The more we do, the sooner we might finally make our way to Europe and see what we have to offer. I mean, Jeff's not even a 70 yet. And we've just continued to push and get better every game. So obviously a great opportunity for us to keep going. Oh, nice pass there. Jeff with the... Oh... Oh, you're breaking my heart. Marky Delgado going off here for TFC. Victor Vasquez coming on, the man we spoke about. Now, I'm wondering how this team would play. Now, let's, let's say that the deals we've been talking about here for TFC, guys, all have come to fruition. And Jeff Millennial is playing on that team now. Are we even half as good as we're looking right now? Honestly? I mean, we'd be losing a heck of a lot of pieces. Oh, there's a lifted through there to the outside corner. Nice little volley back in the middle. Jeff tries to get to it. No dice there. Nice through ball, though. That was a nice lifted through over the top. I like that one. Bradley fighting there. Vasquez looking to put that through. Jeff taking his looks. Tries to put a little cheeky through there, and that's not going to get to Altidore. But we were close. Come on, get up there. Drew Moore can't make that play. Here we go. Now, Orlando. They're trying to make a push, but TFC closes them out again. Good job, boys. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the defense. I mean, really, Bono hasn't been tested that much. That's a death pass right to me. So thank you for that, dude. That was uh, Vasquez, I believe. That's going to get out to the corner. Mavinga bringing the pressure. Come on, guys. Uh-oh. Look at Orlando picking its way through. We might have a problem here. All right, I'm just going to take my man in the top corner here. I'm just going to do my thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's getting out. That's getting out. Let's go, boys. Quick out. And that gets Pooch kicked behind me. Now I'm going to be stuck having to carry this down. Uh-oh. And that's in the back of the net for Orlando. I don't know why they're not running to try and grab that ball. But I'm pretty sure that's the first goal that's been scored on us in quite some time. Drew Moore just gets caught looking there. Hamilton on his way out. Are we seeing the entrance of Sebastian Javinko? I believe he was injured at the end of last last episode here. So I'm trying to get it sorted out. You know, it looks like Tosin Ricketts. Has made his way. So yes, Sebastian Jovinko is indeed out of this game and potentially how many games to come. Josie Altador looking to take a weird shot from a weird angle. Another change here coming up for Orlando. I'm taking my spot all the way at the back. Will Johnson, another former Toronto FC player there. We're just seeing them everywhere at this point, man. So 67th minute here. A 3-1 game for Toronto FC. Josie with two. Hamilton with one. There's a through and a terrible touch, man. If we can just take that down, that play is probably in the back of their net, I want to say. Looking for Altidore here to make me a play. Oh, oh, just took my eyes off it for one second, guys. One second, and I lost control of that ball. All right, now I got it back here. This was my fault. If this goes in, I do not want to get blamed for it. So I'm going to come back and play defense like I have to. There you go. Jeff making the play. Oh, Tosain gives one away cheap there. Orlando looking to make their way through. There we go. There we go. First guy back playing some defense. And here comes the counterattack. And now I'm incredibly far behind. But Altor gets behind the D. He feels the tug on the jersey. Takes the shot. That's in the back of the net, baby. Josie Altidore. There's the hat trick. And again, what could have been probably five. 
But that's in. 4-1 there. Look at that. Fights off. So much strength for Altidore. And just bang. Quickly rips one past Bendik. And that is the hat trick for Josie. Man, what a player. When Josie Altidore is on, like there is no strong forward in the MLS like Josie Altidore. Like for pure strength, nobody like him. The guy's got a rocket for a shot. He's got a nose for the net. And he's strong in the air with speed and just so much strength. I mean, I've seen him push guys off the ball just, just easy, with ease. Similar to kind of what we saw there. But Jeff now trying to open up this play. Yeah, uh, release the ball sooner. How about the foul for the two hands on my shoulder and my jersey? That's where my question is. There you go. Look at that read. Yep, yep. That's out for Mavinga. That's going to go down the sideline for Ricketts. Right back open. Let's go, boys. Let's keep moving this. Now these guys are making me angry because they're fouling me all over the place. And I'm not getting the calls, which makes me angry. That one's getting out for Ricketts. Is Ricketts going to have a go? He plays that back in. I mean, you had an opportunity there, Ricketts, bud. You're a forward. I want you to get your nose to the net, buddy. Man, that should have been a shot. Okay, here we go. Now they're counterattacking. There we go. Man, look at this defense from Jeff Millennial. Like, are we seeing growth from this kid or what? What a superstar. Nice play there. Yep, yep. Just taking the second. Giving Ricketts the chance to get full speed. Off he goes. And misses wide. Tosin Ricketts having a Josie Altidore-esque end to this half. That was pooch kick. Did not put that one in. So Sasha Klistan coming out here for Orlando. And they're bringing in somebody else who I do not know. So we're going to leave that there. Here we go. Toronto FC moving this one out. Ricketts dropping this one for Millennial. Millennial taking the look. Sends the beautiful through there to the outside. But no wheels left. No wheels left there for the winger. Oh. Now, if the winger would have stayed in his spot, we potentially could have got that back. Well, that's one there. And lost again. Okay, back we go. Definitely not trying to get in trouble here. They put me down to an eight and a half? For what? Oh, my Lord. I do not believe that at all. All right, Michael Bradley dropping back, playing ultra defensive right now. Tosan gives that one away cheaply after a death pass. All right, boys, let's, uh, let's figure this one here out. 89th, 90th minute here. Taking the last looks. Ricketts taking the shot. Jeff tries to open this one up for Altidore. That's back for Ricketts. Ricketts going to the outside. Oh, you got to play that in first time. Play it in first time. Oh, Jeff cannot get the header down. Oh, my gosh. That could have been. We were snake bit this game, man. We were not destined to score. We had two or three good looks. But we got a couple of assists out of it, so we'll take that at least. But I don't like that our score went down, guys. We stayed at a pretty steady 8.8, 8.9, and we could not get the job done and stay up in that higher echelon. And we even went down to an 8.3. That's not good. But no less, guys. We're taking the W. That's what's most important to us here. Toronto FC continuing to have success with Jeff Millennial here. Now, what's this? If you can't play the role you're given, you'll be warming the bench. So how do you tell me my vision's world class? And then tell me, I mean, I don't know. Okay. If you say so, but I'd like to say that a lot of the offense came through this guy. This guy, Vanny, that's who. Now, guys, we're going to have one more game here. You know how we do it. One more game. Let's see what Jeff leno has got to bring here. And we will take a look. So first things first, let's go do our player development. We're going to load the previous sessions. We're going to simulate them all. All right, we got a couple lays out of it. We're slowly moving everything forward. As we continue to get better ball control, he's going to get a lot better. Now, guys, if you take a quick peek there, look at our value. We're almost pushing 5 mil here. That is some great news. So what do we got coming down the pipeline here, guys? Who is next on the list for us to play? And it looks to be the Chicago Fire. We got a little, uh, little news here. Sebastian Jovinko back in the lineup, but not getting a start. Very, very surprised about that one. I mean, the expected thing with that Javinko would be coming in. He'll take part in the next training session and uh, with a view to being available for the next match. So perhaps they're going to work him in off the bench. They're not going to push him in. I mean, Hamilton scored last game. Obviously, Josie had a big one. So here we go, guys. Chicago Fire, TFC. Let's get into this one now. And let's see if we can take another win on the road. It would be back-to-back -back here as we took on Orlando in that last game. 
So we're going to be wearing the TFC whites again. Chicago taking in the reds, and here's your lineup. Altidore, Hamilton, Jansen, Chapman, Vasquez, and Jeff holding it down. And Jeff's upwards in form, so we're pushing up to that 70 now, which is fantastic news. Bradley Moore, Mavinga, Vanderweel all rolling up. And Alex Bono, 69, pushing his way up as well. So even though like this team doesn't have like all the 80s, all these like superstar feels, I mean, we're just playing great soccer, great football. We're looking fantastic. And I think that's the key to this whole thing. Now, I don't really care about these guys. This is a little opportunity for me to be able to chit chat with you. And as soon as it's done, we get right into it. So, 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 what does Chicago have in store for TFC? I mean, no one's had much for us recently, man. We are having a season. <coughs> oh, pardon me. All right, here we go. Let's go, boys. Michael Bradley gets in there for that one. Not a surprise. Nice open pass there. Opening that one around. Hamilton out the door. Oh, nice keep in there by Jensen. All right, guys. Uh, whenever you're done there, I mean, just let me know. We'll uh, we'll take a look. Nice open. No, bad pass. You got to put that one in my wheelhouse, dude. Not behind me. Oh, that's a good go. Jeff going to take a look here from distance. <clears throat> that's me. Sorry. Sorry. I thought I might have it. I went for it. Vanderweel steps up there. Here you go. Chicago looking open things. They're, they're pushing, man. They got some... They got some wheels, I gotta say. But the TFC defense looking to just take this one away like they usually do. Van de Wheel playing around here with Vasquez. That one's opening up to the wing. Let's go, boys. Hamilton takes a quick little step over. That goes for Bradley. That goes for Altidore. Jeff Millennial sends the through there. Jensen's off. Where's he going? Jensen. Oh, putting that one back post. Header coming in. No good there. No good for their side. Jay Chapman can't get that one down. Oh, no. Okay, guys, we talked about this in our last game. Chris Mavenga down with an injury here. Let's hope. Let us hope this is nothing serious, man. He's our big guy on the defensive side. Opening that up for Jensen again. Jensen looking for the touch pass. Little touch pass here from Vasquez. Jensen on the top of the box for Josie. That's going to the corner. Chapman races there. And that'll be out for a, for a corner kick. All right, so we get a little top of the box action. I would love to score a volley. Also, wow, I forgot. Sebastian Schweinsteiger, part of this matchup here. Header goes up there. No good for Drew Moore. We're up to 6.4 right now. Sanchez looking to kick this one out here for the Chicago Fire. And where's Jeff Molina? There we go. All right, we're in our spot. We're looking good here. Bradley with the touch. Oh, that was a dangerous pass by Vasquez. Couldn't get back for that one. Bradley going for a second touch here. There we go, opening that one up. Well done, sir. Well done, Bradley. The ball is moving here. Jensen. Back pass for Bradley. Back for Jensen. That's going to drop into my place here because apparently me making runs is not getting anywhere until now. Nope, no good. Come on, send the through, boys. Oh, Josie, you had the window. Oh, Jeff with the strike. That gets off a foot and that goes out. All right, back to the top of the box again. Who knows where this one goes? In comes the in swinger. And there we go. Perfect. That's back out. Vasquez taking his looks. Bradley back for Vasquez. Vasquez taking the steps. Taking the steps. Making the looks. That's in. And Hamilton puts that into the back of the net with a nice little header to the far corner. And this kid's got goals in back-to-back -back games. Well done, Jordan Hamilton. Make the best of your opportunities and good things will come. Who knows? This guy might start stealing some more starting time. Perhaps from Ricketts. But we saw I couldn't get the job done last game in his uh, in his time off the bench. But what a beautiful pass there from Vasquez. Working the corner, working that ball back in the middle, and Hamilton finishes it off. 1-0 lead here for TFC on the road. Not much more you can ask. Now, from a personal level, I'm not feeling the 6.2 right now, guys. I am not feeling it. So let's, let's uh, get into this game. There you go. Quick interception. Call coming back this way, apparently. I think Bradley must have taken a foul there. Not really understanding that one, but Schweinsteiger for Chicago. That's coming back out. And it's going back in. Oh, and the header. That one was close. I mean, you have to expect him to do better on that. The defender's got no idea what's going on. Alex Bono's not moving. So, I mean, he definitely, definitely should have been putting a better play at that. All right, boys, here we go. Opening things up here. Michael Bradley for Jeff Millennial. Opening it up. Nice little pass and play here through the midfield. That's Vasquez. 
Vasquez again. Cannot get the touch. Just suffocated out there. Some great play here by the Chicago midfield. There we go. Jeff with the pass. Takes the foul. Nice, man. No call there as well by the ref. I'm loving that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Jeff with a quick pass through. Couldn't feed him. Couldn't feed him. I expected better there, man. That's going to hurt me. All right. Looking for the steps here. Trying to let any passes through. Good step up. Good step up. And unfortunately, we are just out of that to make the play. Oh, nice go in by Mavinga, who's luckily still on the field. That's going for Altidore. That's heading back for Hamilton. Back for Altidore. Trying to find some space and time for Vasquez. The little uh, one-two passes are typically working, man, but Chicago's just suffocating it. A good defensive game from them. I mean, we haven't seen a team be able to do that in quite some time. Chicago looking for the counterattack now. A lot of white jerseys back here. A lot of commitment to defense. This is what Greg Vanny likes to see from his squads. Oh, no. Half a step behind. This might cost TFC. No finish. No finish there from Chicago. And thank the Lord because Alex Bono might have been in some serious trouble there. All right. TFC looking for the counterattack here. Jordan Hamilton. Hamilton plays through for Jeff. Oh, just not strong enough to fight guys off yet on those one-on-ones. If I had Altidore strength. I was off to the races, but unfortunately, it's not in my DNA as of yet. Nice pass there. Opening things up now. Working with Hamilton. That's out for Jensen. That's back for Bradley. Bradley pushes one down the wing there. Jordan Hamilton making the run. Puts the cross in. Out the door for the battle. Chicago gets that one out. And a corner for TFC. 35th minute. That's going to get to the top. That's headed out. Vanderweel for Millennial. Millennial with the drive. Looking for the second one now. Crosses that in. Vasquez with the fake shot. In. Oh. Jansen with a quick shot. Big stop there by Sanchez. All right, let's get back here, guys. I don't want to get any uh, out of position losses again, considering we're only at 6.9 here. Michael Bradley trying to take a step. He opens it up for Altidore. Jeff taking the look. Spreads that to the outside for Jansen. Here comes TFC on the counter for Altidore. Big stop by Sanchez for Chicago, and Altidore cannot believe he didn't finish that one. And after what we saw last game, you'd almost expect him to be doing it now. Altidore with a quick little backheader far post, and that was stopped by Sanchez as well. What a quality game Sanchez is putting in right now. TFC 64 possession. What a cross there. And that's the shot. That's blocked. Blocked by the center back. So that one's just not getting up there. I was hoping to see a little bit more power come through on that shot, but I guess we didn't drive in well enough. We'll have to take a look for that next one. Look at Jeff come back and make a play here. That's what I'm talking about. All right, boys, let's go. Victor Vasquez opening it up for Jensen. Bradley and Vasquez are running into each other right now. That goes to show you how out of our midfield is right now. That's a nice go. Jeff apparently dumbing that one for no good reason. That's out for Chapman. Chapman taking his looks. That's in for Bradley. Bradley for Vasquez. Vasquez now open for... Out the door, Alfred Chapman almost gets their big play again by this Chicago defense. I don't know, man. They must have been on the scouting report here for us because they've taken away all the one, two touch passes, and it's really been doing some damage against us. Hamilton looks to make himself an opportunity, pushes forward, but that's blocked. And Chicago pushes out here, guys. We are just in. Oh, and as I said it, it is over. Injury time's done. First half is complete here. Only one nothing for TFC. Not very much like us. I, typically, we were able to jump on teams, but let's see what the second half has in store here in Chicago. TFC opens up with the ball here. This one's coming. Victor Vasquez, the man who typically likes to get things started. Hamilton working out here. Jeff looking for the quick run. Plays that out for the wing. Come on, let's get a nice ball in here. Nice ball in. Jeff tries to get up. No dice. I mean, we're not guys who are definitely going to be getting up for headers anytime soon. Jeff looking to take the quick pass here. Drops that one down for Bradley. Bradley trying to fight off the guy. Takes a quick pass in for Jeff. And a little bit of a death pass per se. Not that I got hurt, but I mean obviously in some serious traffic here. Vasquez has got that one now. That's out for Hamilton. Josie tries the bicycle and just rips the center back right in the face. I mean, that is point blank. And that one's going to hurt tomorrow. That is no good for him. All right, the defense working things around here. Mavinga and Vanderweel. Jeff heading that one over for Bradley. TFC looking for the build play. This is what we're always successful at. That's going to the outside. Not able to get that one. And here comes Chicago on the counterattack. Jeff trying to get back in the play. Here he comes. Full speed ahead. Atta boy. Come on. Let's work back in here. 
And Gregory Vanderweel, come on guys, let's make the play. Nice and easy. Little touch passes here, working our way out of our zone. Good job, boys, good job. Opening it up. Ah, trying to stay onside. There we go, Chapman puts it through. Jeff taking his looks, taking his looks. Plays that through. Quick shot there by Jansen. No dice. I mean, I'm thinking he probably should have taken a step. He had the space. But, uh, I mean, obviously he's not an Altador either. He might not have fought through that. And that one is coming back this way. Counterattack by Chicago. TFC defense suffocating as well, which is exactly what we need in this kind of game, man. Right now, I mean, the offense is we're having some chances, but not like we have in the past. But here we go. Here comes a counterattack. That one's coming through. I, did I get a piece of that? I did not think that was to be the case, but... All right, we're at 7.4 here, guys. We definitely need to make something happen in this game to raise up our match rating. So we need to get up to that at least like mid-8, mid 8.5 eight plus. That's essentially where Coach is looking for us to be. I mean, actually, he's expecting between the 9s. So let's get there. Bradley, great defensive play. 62nd minute here. This game has just been a suffocation from both sides. But TFC continues to look to find another brace here. There we go, boys. Good job. Way to work that out. There we go. Touch passes. That's in for Hamilton. That's back for Bradley. Bradley looking to quickly get one going here. Hamilton, for some reason, has almost dropped back as a fake mid. Oh, nice move there. Transfer completed. Carvajal getting moved to Bayern Munich here. That gets put to the outside. Vasquez looking for a little ball here. That goes for Josie. That shot ricochets and hits Josie right in the face. And out that goes for a goal kick. So Jordan Hamilton exits, Tosane Ricketts coming on here. Alex Bono? One save. Richard Sanchez? Seven saves. So even though, even though we have not had a ton going on, we've at least kept Bono. Oh, that's a good one. Jeff steals one at center. Oh my god. Release the ball sooner where, dude? There's nobody around. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good counterattack and given away. Give it away cheaply, that might cost us. Come on. Come on. There you go. Jeff getting back in the play. Makes the read, makes the play. What do you expect from your star midfielder right now? Come on, Jeff. We need to get something going here, guys. One goal that I can score or get an assist or something. Chapman for Ricketts. Come on, Josie. Find something here. Like, look, I'm making the runs, man. These guys just aren't finding me right now. Okay, hold on. Ricketts making the go. Ricketts taking the look. I mean, I'm back post here, dude. I'm going to find something. Oh, big stop. Big stop. Oh, Jeff with the touch. Oh, miss hit that one bad. But that might stay in. Oh, yes, he does. That's a nice keep in there by Chapman. Vasquez taking his looks. Oh, that's a strike. That's not going to get anywhere. That's back out. Bradley looking to get up for that one. And he does. That's in now for Altador. Altador taking his looks. Bradley for Ricketts. That's in for Vasquez. Jeff oh, tries to get a foot across it, and that's no good. Come on, we need to get another opportunity here. Oh, what a bad pass there by Jay Chapman. Okay, Victor Vasquez coming off here. 77 minutes. Marky Delgado coming on. So the opposite of last game switch. And let's see if TFC can find one more here. One more just to make this game feel a little bit more at ease. And also to get our 7.4 up higher because I am not loving what I'm seeing right now. So let's push here, boys. Defense has got to hold on strong, but Chicago's pushing. Switching the field here. Come on. Let's go. Get to that. Good recovery there. Good recovery. Now Mavinga's coming off. Could that be the injury? Finally trying to play a part in this. Eric Zavaleta stepping in here for TFC. Okay. Good job there by the defense to get that one to settle down. Taking the looks here. Making the pass. Also switching the field. Drew Moore there taking a bit of a touch. Let's hope for no more injuries because Mavinga is already down. Ricketts, that's opened up here for us. That's sent through. Josie's going to have a look. Oh, what a strike. But what a save by the goaltender Sanchez. This guy's been on fire. Just absolute fire. That's coming down to the way here. Chicago looking for a quick press. The counterattacks can be brutal as we know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's it. Look at that play. Great job. Ricketts now taking his looks. That's heading out there. Come on, boys. Good stuff. Take the step. Take the step. Chapman can't get back to that one. We're at 7.5, guys. 87th minute here. Looking for one more opportunity. Okay, Ricketts slowing it down. 
Just some ball possession here, trying to kill the game out. But when we're winning, we also need to worry about our performance to make sure we're staying on the field. Marky Delgado now. That one's getting out for Chapman. Chapman taking his looks. That ball's going up and deep. Uh, I wasn't going to be able to take that down. That was a weird angle for me. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on. This might be trouble here. Chicago on the break. Two minutes of injury time here. Uh-oh. And, oh, the outside of the net for Chicago. That has to be a heartbreaker. Oh, my Lord. That might be the game right there. Look at this. And that is it, guys. Final whistle. Chicago with an opportunity in injury time to score. And they can't get the job done. Hit the outside of the net. But for your boys in TFC, that one definitely works. So 7.4 match rating. Not what we were hoping for. But, I mean, we're getting positive feedback. So we'll take it. Obviously, just no assists in this one and no goals. But uh, a victory is a victory, guys. And we'll continue to take those and uh, hope to see TFC potentially win a trophy here. And again, maybe we're going to be moving on to Europe at some point. So let's get our training going. We're pushed past the 70 point now, which is fantastic. I mean, I, I, I need to have my guy better to start doing better for us. So let's see here. The vision keeps going. We got a couple C's across the board and one A. Not what I was hoping for. But let's see what we got here. So Mavinga injury news. Guys, this might be the fear that we had. Okay, five days. Bruce shoulder. That's not that bad. We might not even play for five days. So let's see where this is taking us next. We're still three points back of Columbus here. All right, upcoming targets. We got... So here are our games. Minnesota, Sporting, Orlando, and Chicago. All W's across the board. The minimum rating average of 8.9. We were not able to hit. But we created a goal... And we created three chances. We definitely nailed those down. So we'll take that. And here's what we're looking at coming up here. We got Chicago again, Atlanta, New York, and the San Jose Earthquakes. They want two goals created, six chances, and a nine minimum match rating. So they just keep setting the bar higher and higher for us. And I mean, that obviously is a good sign at what they believe Jeff Millennial is capable of. So we're working our way up here, heading off to our next game against Chicago. Who I can only assume, who I can only assume is looking for some sort of retribution here. And we're back in the lineup. Javinko's back in the lineup. We got five goals, seven assists, 14 matches played for Jeff. Excellent. We're still fit, guys. So obviously a great way to end off this episode. So almost worth five million. We're over 70 now. You got big guys like Mehdi Benatia going to sign with Manchester United. Anything's possible. How soon till Jeff gets that first offer? So, guys, thank you so much again for dropping by for today's episode. It's FIFA 19. It's Jeff Millennial. It's the career mode. And uh, I'd say the kid's doing all right. Leave me some fire comments below. Let me know how you guys are loving the series, what you might want to see me do, how to change it up, so on and so forth. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. Join the MMC fam. It's growing every day. And, of course, hit the like button. Just like, I want you to do this, okay? One, two, three, like! Right? Right? Yeah, for sure, guys. You have to do it, man. Who doesn't like the like button? Right? I mean, it helps every YouTuber, guys. In case you don't know, when you hit that like button, it helps the videos get seen. YouTube continues to push it because of how many likes there are. So you're supporting in the likes and hit and subscribe and turn notifications on. Helps us in a big way. Um, from there on, guys, you can go down to the description, a little fun story for you, some links to our socials, go check out our Twitch page, and of course, Redbubble, little merch store, go check it out, yeah, Clutch Chairs as well there, guys, um, you know, we're happy to partner up with them, we got a promo code there for you to save some cash. Another episode in the books here for the Millennial Man Cave, your boy Jeff signing out, hoping to get Chef Tom back here real soon, we might surprise you, he's, uh, Getting the schedule started to slow down finally now. We just hung out last weekend. So uh, some stuff coming up in the books here. Maybe Captain Duck coming back as well. A couple names you guys might remember. And uh, Polar Bear Steve and the rest of the boys. I'm just name dropping now. But here we go. I'm officially ending this off now. I've been nagging on you for a little bit here. I should have ended it maybe a little while ago. But the MMC does this. Okay, we're done. Keep throwing. <laughs>